Hey, Nolan, it's Coach Benlin here. Um, just breaking down some of your swings. Um, love to go over some things that we like and make a couple adjustments so we can bring them into the next session and work on them. Um, overall, you know, there's a lot of things we like about, about you at the plate, your ability to make contact, uh, get on base. And of course, once you're on base, we know you're, you're a great base runner. So we just want to tweak some things, make a few adjustments to make sure that you're, you're feeling a little more comfortable at the plate heading into next season. Um, a lot of it has to do with balance and rhythm from what I'm seeing, but I will break it down frame by frame and show a couple clips of you swinging. And then I'll show you um, an MLB player that I think you could learn a little bit from. So let's take a look at the uh, frame by frame stuff to start here. So this is from, I think, last session or the session before. I'm just breaking it down frame by frame, looking at some of the things that stood out to me here. Full swing here. Um, something that caught my eye immediately after looking at a bunch of your clips here is, is I want you to watch this front foot, okay? And it's pretty inconsistent where it lands. And you see how you're stepping across your body there and not landing even? And you'll see that when I play a few loops of you swinging, um, you'll see the front foot coming across, almost landing on the plate a couple of times. And I feel like when you're stepping across your body here, you're then forced to swing across your body and it leads to a lot of rollovers and, and you kind of pull the barrel, you know, I, I say hands in the pocket, you, you pull the barrel almost towards the third base coach. And it's a lot of uh, rollovers to the to left side of the infield. So I wanna work on landing even. And I'll draw on the screen real quick to show you what I mean. Because I right here at this point, when you're on the way up in your load, okay, let's say right here, you're, you're pretty balanced for the most part here. And a couple of things kind of start to, to tip one way or the other. And I believe you start to lose balance. So when you're getting this knee up here, right? You should be generating on this, in this back hip here, generating power on the inside of the, the back foot, back knee and the back hip here, right? And as this, this front knee is going up, you end up bringing this front foot down over here. Okay, I'd love to see you land a little more even. Okay, almost like where you are now, put it back down this way, you know, heading towards a pitcher, not stepping across your body. Because then what you're going to do is these hands are going to come this way. Um, and it's going to lead to that barrel coming with it, which is going to expose you on the outer half of the plate. So one of the first things I noticed is definitely your front foot landing. Let's try not to step across and let's try to land even um, on this yellow line down here. Not the biggest thing in the world, but something that could get you in and a little bit of trouble going forward. So let's make sure we land with that front foot even for now. Um, next thing I noticed is in your load, when this bat is coming back, right? So right before you get to that launch point and you're ready to bring your hands forward, right before it gets blurry right there, you see how the bat is pointed. Here, I'll draw on the screen again. How the, the bat is pointed almost towards the other batter's box here. You see it right here. It's going in, in a direction, you know, down here along this aisle for the most part. And it's not that far off, but what is happening here is you see how the bat's kind of wrapping behind your head. And the more you go back, the more this bat wraps to, to down here almost. And we want to aim for this, this bat to be a little more vertical up here. And the knob should be pointing right down to the catcher's glove somewhere down here. So that when it is time to swing and you're gonna bring these hands through this way, um, there's not so much of a, you know, a undoing of the wrap that you have to do. It takes a little longer and I feel like it messes up your timing a little bit. So we'll talk about keeping that bat a little more upward and uh, we'll work on that in the next session. Just something that caught my eye as well. You're definitely wrapping the bat a little bit. Walking through the swing a little more here. X this out. Do you see how your front arm as you come through starts to lock a little bit right there, right there. We wanna make sure that we're not locking that arm as we get over the plate here. That's gonna to lead to some problems here. So that front arm is locking almost straight even. Your hands run away from your body and they're kind of over the plate. We wanna keep our hands somewhat close to our body um, and get extended a little more out in front. Your hands, should 
remain pretty loose until they get out here to this point. So going from your hands were in this position back here as they travel along this path to here, you wanna keep them until they're palm up, palm down, up here out in front. That's why we always take the knob out in front, get your hands in front, and let the barrel follow late. Sometimes you lock this front arm here. That's kind of like you're uh, you know, stirring a big pot and that could lead to some problems here. So we'll work on you know, getting your hand, especially your bottom hand through um, early, getting the knob towards the pitcher. Because right now, if I keep going, you'll see that knob from this point. You'll see where the knob is here and you'll see it make a, a sudden beeline turn uh, right towards you know, that back wall there into your pocket. Let's see it right here. Easier to see in the video right there. Knob looks like it's going towards the pitcher in this clip. As we keep going, there you go, it runs away. And, and I feel like you're so worried about getting the barrel on it um, that you forget to finish that, that path of your hands and getting your hands out in front. So they never really get extended. It's almost at this point you should be getting extended and the barrel should be a little bit trailing behind, lagging behind. Your hands where they are now, we almost want the barrel to be back here, right? A lot of the time you're reaching out in front of the plate and I feel like, and you'll see it in the video, and I feel like that's where you're getting into trouble with your balance and your, um, and your rhythm for the most part. Um, let's take a look at a couple, a couple of these swings in the loop real quick. I'm just gonna optimize my screen for the video. The words might get a little blurry, but you should be able to see the video fine. Okay, I'll let a couple of these loops play and we'll take a look at them. So let's watch for that front foot landing. Let's watch for that bat wrap. Um, and let's watch for those that, you know, that, that, those hands running into your pocket towards that back blue wall there. And I also feel as it, as it loads up, I also feel like you're kind of rushing in your load. On the way up, you look okay. And as soon as the pitch is about to come, you kind of jam your foot into the ground. And I feel like it, it, it brings you forward a little bit and you lose that, that center of gravity down the midline. I feel like you could definitely have a more um, patient and, and relaxed load. And I'll give you a drill later that'll, that'll help you with that. Here's a couple of these swings. First, let's look at that, that front foot there landing like you're stepping towards the plate almost. I've seen it even worse than this in a couple of the videos. You definitely want to land even. Um, taking a look at that bat wrap, let's see how that barrel, when you stretch back, how it gets behind your head and you have to unravel it a little bit. Definitely want to point a little more vertical with that knob going towards the catcher, not towards the, um, almost the, the, the opposite, the uh, lefty's batter box. Um, And then watch that barrel turning over early as that front arm locks. There's a couple of good swings on this one. Definitely want to get that knob leading the way out in front. Let me show you a different loop here. Let me pull up a different loop here. One second while it loads. But you'll see again in this, in this video, I feel like you're kind of in a rush um, um, with your load, a little more patience. Give time to build, build in that back hip um, towards that backside, stay back um, and let the pitch travel to you. Sometimes you're reaching to go get it. Here you go, here's another one. Stepping across with the front foot, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. On the way up, it looks okay. And all of a sudden you, you jam that front foot down and kind of tip forward a little bit. It's leading to a lot of ground, but I see you getting frustrated in the video, even when I was watching this. And it's leading to a couple rollovers. We definitely want to stay back, let the ball travel to us um, and, and stay balanced. So when we take that out of the equation and we, and we go to the T, I can pull up a video of the T in a little bit. Some of the swings look a lot better because you're, you're able to you know, control your body and stay balanced a little bit more. I'll pull it up right now for this one. That's a nice piece right there though. Took that one to right center field. Here's the T loop. A 
I'm not always a proponent of a bigger leg kick, but I definitely think we can get that knee up a little more. So you get on your backside and build power a little more. The point of the load is, to, is timing. And you're pretty good with your timing. Sometimes you're a little rushed, but definitely to generate more power. And I know, I know we're still growing, getting stronger, but um, there's more power, power available if we stay back a little more. And we'll work on that in the next session. That's a nice piece right there. I like that one. Okay, so I wanna show you a guy that I'm, sh I'm sure you know, Trey Turner. Um, I wanna show you some things he, he does that you can take a look at and, and see what I'm talking about with some of this. He's gonna be a high leg kick guy. Now I'm not you know, advocating for a leg kick this high, but you'll definitely see how he generates a lot more power here. This is a slow motion swing. Front side's coming up. Watch how the knee gets pretty high. This is, this is a little exaggerated. We have to go that high here, but I definitely think picking your knee up in your load a little bit more will keep you on the backside generating more power. Watch his knob lead the way. He extends through the baseball, right? Sometimes I feel like when you get to the ball, you get to that point of contact, your hands run away and they kind of go roll over into your pocket. He's gonna let his hands keep going, work his way through the baseball back towards the pitcher until they get extended in front and then, and then he lets him, his uh, follow through finish. And I love that backside 90 degree angle right there. That's how he generates a lot of power. It's all about the hips. It's all about the hips. I have another video of him um, that's a little bit different. This is when he was coming up um, as a prospect. And, I, and if you watch his front side, I thought it mirrored your front side perfectly here, watch. Leg comes up a little bit, goes right back down, right? And it's a lot of arms, a lot of hands. Um, but once again, he's still getting through that baseball. And then I guess someone got to him. Here, I'll show that again one more time. I guess someone got to him and, and brought his knee up a little bit, got more power in the load. And that's where he started hitting the homers and uh, hitting for uh, more power numbers here. But I don't want to give you too much to worry about here, but just to review some of this stuff, um, your balance and rhythm in your load, maybe we're going to kind of uh, test out a higher leg kick in the, in the next session, exaggerate a little bit, just till we get, you know, a little more from that load, um, that front foot landing, you know, right here, you see it in, in the picture, landing, stepping across here, let me uh, fix my screen, um, stepping across, right, we're gonna land even, and then the path of that bat, having the knob point towards the catcher, not across wrapping the bat, and then um, getting the, the knob leading the way towards the pitcher here. Um, a drill that we're going to work on, I can show it to you. We did one of these in the last session, the walk it out drill, where we got in our set. Um, we took one step forward as our hands went back, another step forward, a third step forward, and our hands kept going back until we got to that, you know, launch position, that stretched out position. And then we threw our hips first and the hands followed. That walk it out drill, I think, will really help you. Definitely to generate from your hips, you know, separate the load from the swing and um, keep that, that bat back, the hands back, not wrapped and then going with the hip first, then the hands. And then um, I, I, there's a pinch, pinch drill I'm gonna show you that you pinch your backside in, your knee up, and you exaggerate that front leg up, hover over that backside, build balance, build power, and the front foot comes down. And uh, that next drill, I'll write it down on, your, on my notes here for you that we'll work on the pinch, pinch drill uh, in the next session. Uh, I hope this helps. I know I'm throwing a lot at you, but, but we'll be able to walk through this in the next session. Um, I'll put up my information real quick if you have any any questions you want to email me or, or anything like that um, I'm always available to, to help you out so just let me know when you get a chance and if not we'll bring it into the next session and uh, we'll talk it talk more about it there and take it from there just let this load up in case you want to send me an email I also put my Twitter link in there in case you want to um, see any of the videos that we're working on. As far as a lot of the stuff I use in the sessions on the TV screen, I have a lot of those links uh, from my Twitter feed right there. Coach David Benlin at gmail.com. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Okay. Uh, I'll see you at the next session.